Greetings, dear ones. We are the Redwoods. We invite you to walk amongst us. We are here and we love you. We watch you have your picnics and we love to see the children playing hide and seek around us. It brings us great joy to hear their innocent laughter and pure light. We ask you to observe us here in the forest and how majestic we stand in our own individuality and truth, towering above in the skies deep red and glistening in the sunlight. We are very proud of who we are and what we represent. We are deeply rooted in our truth and our power and there is no competition or judgment amongst us. We all reach for the light. Some of us are small and some are big, but we all find our way and we grow in our own unique ways. People come and sit on us, play around us, hug us. The children climb us, the birds they sit on our branches, the squirrels running so fast and the woodpeckers peck pecking away like a continuous drumbeat, bringers of good tidings. We are open to all and embrace all in our hearts. You are all welcome in our space because our hearts are big enough for all. We receive nourishment from Gaia, our Earth Mother. She provides for our needs and there is always enough. We are fed unconditionally and we never go without. We have deep respect for our mother as without her, we would not be here. We stay rooted and connected to her soul and her soil at all times for our nourishment. We urge you to do the same. Keep your roots nourished at all times with the energy of Gaia, our Earth Mother. Enjoy and have gratitude for all the goodness that she provides the delicious fruits that grow on the trees, the medicines that are extracted from our bark. Everything here on earth is in ample supply. It is a blessing to be here. Distribute it so that there is enough for all. It just needs to be balanced, nurtured and respected. You, we, all live on a beautiful planet Mother Earth, she is so beautiful. We truly feel privileged to live upon her. So much so that we have a prayer that we say daily. O oh Mother of all, bless us with your abundant heart. If we stray from our truth, help us find our way back. We are blessed and beyond grateful to have a place here in your heart. You hold us in comfort, in love, and provide for our needs unconditionally. We are witnessed and loved in your presence. All are welcome in your heart. With abundant blessings and deep gratitude to our great mother, Gaia. We observe all emotions, we feel all, we absorb all and we simply give you our unconditional love to help balance your heart and your soul. If you hug us, listen with your heart and you will hear us whisper, we love you, we hold you, we support you, to let go and to trust that we are one. We ask you to hand over your heaviness and we will transform it to love. We may look different, but yet we are the same. We all have a heart. We all have a soul and a spirit. We are energy. When you feel ungrounded or lost, come to the forest and breathe. Be still and receive. 
Here you will find balance. Here you will find solace. Walk amongst us and hear us whisper, we love you. We are here. Release your tears, your pain, your sadness. We are here and we love you. You all have different backgrounds, skins, color on the outside, but you are all the same within. You all have a heart. You all have organs, blood running through your veins, the same red blood. We may all look different on the outside, but we understand that we are all the same within. We are one. May you be blessed with abundance, dear ones. There is a path of duality which says this way or that, but we say it can be this way and that, and we show you a third door which asks, can you embrace both this and that, the light and the shadow with compassion and love and acceptance for all of life's lessons playing out in order to create unity, peace and harmony. We are the cedars of God and you will find us mostly in Mount Lebanon. High above the land we stand, we are ancient ones upon the earth. Many lifetimes we have seen we are some of the oldest trees on earth, dating back thousands of years, and yet we stand united, together, embracing our roots. We have seen wars and fighting, heartache and bloodshed. We have heard the cries of the people suffering, and still, united we stand. Our canopies protecting our loved ones from the scorching sun. Our love for humanity, for we hold you in our arms. We are the cedars of God. We rise to the light. We embrace our brothers and sisters. We stand for peace and harmony, unity and oneness. And we have deep respect for Gaia our Earth Mother. We all come from the same roots. We are all part of the Earth. Embrace one another. Hold peace and the intention of peace and open your arms, your hearts to each other beyond color or creed, religion or breed. Let go of competition and greed for it creates further separation. Embrace unity and you will find solace and love, connection and support in every way. It is so important to understand the cycle of life as all have their place, to have respect for each other, the animal kingdom, the plant life, the environment, as all make up the circle of life. If one component is missing, the circle becomes incomplete. Respect, honor for this truth and greater knowledge and understanding is needed. A coming together to no longer allow destruction, but focus on regeneration, to think about future generations the quality of air for your children and their children, to plant trees and not burn or destruct, to teach humanity that ultimately everyone is affected by such short-term decisions. Think sustainability, think long-term, think of ways to help the earth stay nourished and not diminished. You are all powerful in numbers. Our forests are so grand because we stand united together in oneness and our presence is felt by all. 
as you come together, your strength will be felt in numbers by joining hands, by joining hearts and minds and intentions to bring better days for the planet. You together will bring peace, harmony and regeneration. We send you our deepest unconditional love and gratitude, dear ones. We love you. We are the Tree Collective and we have a voice.